Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with another tutorials in our series of tutorials of the Ram Report that you can get each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the different types of tip sheets that you have here at ATS because sometimes when you're handicapping the game, a lot of uh, handicappers love to have a little bit of uh, uh, freedom to to write on their sheets to you know take notes and um, the evolution of the tip sheets here over the last. Uh, a couple of years people are wondering why do you got three different tip sheets here well what happened is we built these tip sheets but we improved them um over time and then once we've improved them then people would say where's the old tip sheet i want the old tip sheet back the, I, i'm used to that one and so that's why when you come to the uh the website you see we have tip sheet number one number two and then we, we got tired of numbering them so we say you know what let's just call it a report card but uh, I'll get to the uh, the third one in just a minute. So the uh, the first evolution of the tip sheets of uh, the Ram Report, and I'm just going to do the NBA for the purpose of this video, is um, basically, in a nutshell, I look at the, the, the sports betting markets just like I do the stock market, and I look at it through cycles, and if you follow the Ram Report each and every day, I talk about value, percentage play, performance cycles, player availability, and also you got to use a uh, money management system, and I'll show you in tip sheet number three where that comes into play. But um, going back to tip sheet number one here, you got the uh, the New York Knicks taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland, a five and a half point favorite. The over/under is at 202.5. My value index. So I always take my number and I compare it to the bookmaker's number to see if we do have value in the selection. And you can see we do have fair market value on Cleveland. And if you do like the uh, New York Knicks here today, today is April 26, by the way, just in case uh, eight months down the road, you're saying, what day was this? Yeah, it is April 26, 2023. And uh, we are in game five of the NBA uh, first round of the series. And uh, game five tonight will be played in Cleveland. And uh, you can see the line, the total is 202.5. And uh, minus 298 is what my line was on New York. So if you do like the Knicks here tonight for April 26th, you're getting really good value on the uh, New York Knicks. Now, the Vegas Index, this is, the, uh, again, going to number three, team performance cycles. B indicates that that team has a 50 to 59.9 win percentage. The A right here indicates that that team has a 60 or higher win percentage. And uh, neutral also indicates that that team is either five and two, six and one. Oh, sorry, neutral means four and three, three and four in their last seven games. And uh, bullish means five and two, uh, six and one, seven and zero oh in their last seven. And bearish means zero oh and seven, uh, two, uh, one and six, and two and five in their last seven games. Again, in the um, in the sports, with there's a lot of volume, like say the NBA and uh, NHL and also Major League Baseball, I look at games through a seven-game cycle. And in football, because they only play once a week, then I look at it in a three-game cycle. And, you know, when you think about it, the three-game cycle is really three weeks, right? 21 days. And then for the NHL, NBA, it can vary from like 10 days to 14 days on the uh, on the uh, seven-game cycle. Also, we give you the streaks. So you can see New York's last four games have gone under. Last six for the Cavaliers have gone under. ATS record on the year along with the chance of covering compared to the chance of winning, right? So if you follow the rain report, we have the Cal, the chance of winning the game straight up. But also on this tip sheet, we give you the COC, the chance of covering the spread, and we give you the percentage play on what their chances based on historical uh, data from the past of these teams that are, from the past that are in the exact situation these two teams are in tonight. And again, I said this uh, on the podcast earlier in the week. Really, when you're, when you're handicapping past um games you're really you're yeah you're handicapping the, the teams but you're also handicapping what the bookmakers mindset and situational was on that uh, day when they put in those uh those lines and totals right the over under record for both these teams 40 and 46 we don't we don't track the uh, the pushes because it throws off the percentage a bit and then you can see the kogo tonight the chance of this one going over the total is at 76 percent and then we give you the forecast 102 to 99 the over under to land on 201.87 and again, you take this total, you compare it to the uh, opening total, and you can see we do like it to go under. And that's just an indicator, right? I say it all the time. Every time we give these forecasts, it's not a pick. It's an indicator from previous games from the past. And then the more indicators you can string along, then the higher confidence level you have on that selection. So that's tip sheet number one. T tip sheet number two, basically the same thing. The only thing we added was the home away and against those A, B, and C type teams. A type teams are teams above 60%. B-type teams are teams with a 50 to 59.9 percentage. And the C-type teams, you can see Cleveland, they do very well against C-type teams, 29 and 9 straight up. 
and uh, whenever they're in a bullish cycle. And yeah, so this this is also important because a lot of the the players like the strength of schedule. And when a team is in a bullish cycle, right? I, I mentioned earlier when a team is either five and two, six and one, seven and zero. Oh. So whenever Cleveland's playing those hot teams, five and twelve straight up. Whenever they're playing a team that's four and three, three and four. So just having a you know uh, even uh, Steven type of uh, run. 24 and 18 and wow look at that when they're beating the beatables right that's what i call teams with a a really going going south in a hurry they are 23 and 4 straight up so this is why uh, now you can see why some of the members were saying hey can you put back that other number tip tip sheet there's a feature in there i really like and uh, we always do what's best for our clients and uh, we kept it up so here's the uh, third one this is the report card so if you go to your uh, dashboard right here tip sheet number one which is uh, this one right here Tip sheet number two is uh, this tip sheet right here. And then uh, we got tired of calling tip sheets, so we'll just call them uh, report cards. And then you go to your report card. And I got to give credit to my uh, my buddy Bobby uh, Bobby Hubby here. He uh, he gave me the, the ideas of the color coordination, and uh, he gave me some good tips. And uh, we, uh, we, we take that feedback. And anytime you get good feedback from your clients, and if you don't use it, uh, <laughs> then you're not listening. Then you're, you're probably not a good business owner because the the, uh, the clients always give you great feedbacks. And the sports betters, especially uh, guys like Bobby who have been around, uh, hey, not the first barbecue type thing, uh, great um, information that we can share with you guys. And if it improves the uh, the quality of the feature, we're going to do it. So those those A-type teams against a C-type team. Actually, you know what? Let me go back and keep it in the same uh family so here's another good thing i'm going to show you so when you say you want to change sports go to nba and then uh, click on game matchup and that's how you get uh, you know some people are saying well if you click on this it gives you the overall market value of the teams right here so you can see here again the c type teams and we color coded the the bearish and the bullish and the neutrals right you're looking for green <laughs> just like the color of money you're looking for green right here and the, the, the pink or red, yeah, I'm colorblind, so this is, uh, you know, supposed to be red, but it didn't turn out really good in red. So we said, uh, let's uh, let's do a reddish, right? So you can see here the bearish. Uh, Memphis not having a good run right now. But if you click on game matchups, then it separates and it goes right to the game matchup. So there's a B versus an A. And right off the bat, you know that these two teams are in a neutral cycle. And that's what I like about this. Because when you look at this right off the top, you see two yellow teams. That means two teams who are really in a neutral cycle. So from a market psychology point of view, you're really getting good value for your buck if you're whatever team you're supporting that day, right? The chance of winning, 61.7 to 40.9. 102 to 99 is our final. Home and away, A, B, and C type teams. Neutral, eight days. So when you see the parenthesis and you see the number, that just tells you that team has been neutral in a neutral cycle for eight days. And this tells you this team has been neutral for 17 days. So basically, win one, lose one type thing for the last uh, 17 days, which is phenomenal. Um, line value, you take this line, you compare it to the bookmaker's line. You can see you've got fair market value there. And uh, value index right here, plus 4.8. And uh, you do have um, fair market value here. And then bet uh, units. So what you want to do is uh, every time that we, um, our money management system that we talked about earlier, I said, you got, you know, in shopper value, play to percentages, um, and then performance cycles, player availability, and a disciplined money management system. Anytime you want to know how much you should be wagering on this uh, game, this is the recommended units we give you guys here. And always remember, don't bet on bearish teams. Let them work out those cycles uh, of those streaks, those bad streaks, and follow this money management system. And it's going to help you in the long run to increase your bankroll. So there you have it. That is the, uh, in a nutshell, the tip sheets here at uh, atsstats.com. And if you have any questions about our tip sheets, uh, feel free to uh, send me an email at ronraymond at atsstats.com. And if you're ready to come and kick the tires and give it a shot, it's only $4.99 for seven days. And you can come and test drive the atsstats.com website. Good luck.